would be interesting to uh, share um, about a project we've recently finished, which is a European project funded on the um, Framework 7 programme. It's called Quasar, and it's about organisational and cultural characteristics of quality in European hospitals. And it's a three-year study, and we've been uh, studying hospitals in um, five European countries. Um, and um, one of the main outputs of that is this um, guide uh, for um, senior hospital leaders. And as it says here, it's a research-based tool uh, to reflect on and develop your quality improvement strategies. Um, and the guide is, um, it's not a how-to guide, it's not a guide telling you what you must do to develop your quality improvement strategies. Um, it's about changing conversations, it's about guiding conversations uh, to develop quality improvement strategies. And it's, um, it's framed around eight challenges for quality improvement uh, that builds on previous work undertaken by Paul Bate and others, which identified six challenges and we've added two to those. And they include um, things like physical and technological um, challenge for quality improvement, so things like um, data for quality improvement, um, IT for quality improvement, structural challenges, like um, have you got a quality committee and so on, but also some of the more softer elements like the cultural challenge, the emotional challenge. And what we found in our study was there's a tendency for hospitals to focus on managing their external demands and the kind of structural elements of quality improvement and focusing much less on the cultural and emotional aspects of quality improvement. And we also found that um, there tends to be a kind of project by project approach to quality improvement and many of those projects are very innovative um, but there's um, much less of a kind of organisational wide approach to quality improvement in which those projects um, sit. Um, so this guide is a way of senior hospital leaders bringing together all the work they are doing on, on quality improvement because obviously um, most hospitals aren't, we're not starting from a blank sheet here, so it's a way of bringing it all together and what you're currently doing and then identifying gaps and strategies for, sort of, for moving forward. So it may be that you find, um, for example, you have been focusing a lot on managing external demands and on structural challenge, and you've done much less, for example, around the leadership and educational challenges, and this will help, help you do that. Um, and the guide includes all sorts of examples from our five countries, from hospitals in those five countries, um, to think about how you might develop your um, strategies um, uh, for, for your own hospital and it's not about transplanting a particular example of something say from one of the Swedish Swedish hospitals had a learning cafe and it's not about just transplanting that idea for example into an English hospital but it's about oh how might we um, address that strategy uh, uh, through some something like that it's a way of sparking off discussion and, and debate um, and we're also hoping that this um, guide could be used at a particular service level within clinical services to think about where people will need to go next. We've also produced a kind of a, a sister guide if you like for payers, for commissioners uh, of services to help them see how well their hospitals are doing around quality improvement strategies but also for them to reflect on their own behaviours and actions and whether or not they facilitate quality improvement uh, in hospitals.